Thank you for choosing American Tent. In this video, we will show you how to set up your frame tent. Please note that your model may look different from the clear top tent shown, but don't worry, the principles are the same. Your safety is important to us. Before getting started, make sure that you've contacted 811 or the utility locator service in your area to ensure that it is safe to drive stakes into the ground. Additionally, be aware of potential weather conditions and always evacuate your tent during periods of extraordinarily high winds or lightning. After your site has been approved for safe staking, gather your tools and accessories. Before we get started, let's look at these deceitfully similar tent parts. The one on the left is a side tee. The one on the right is a ridge tee. What's the difference? Well, we like the side tee, so we took Beyonce's advice and put a ring on it. The ridge tee has no ring. Further, side tees have holes that don't go straight through the pipe. The ridge tee does. Lay out your tent parts according to the diagram. Cross-reference with the parts list to make sure everything is present and accounted for. You'll note the abundance of holes in our poles and fittings. Each protrusion on the crown has two holes. One hole is the alignment hole, and the other is the placement hole. Place a pin in the alignment hole. The pin prevents the rafter from moving too far onto the crown. Ready to get started? Connect the tubing to your six-way crown. Pete McVeigh recommends building your tent sections vertically, as shown. Among other virtues, this method reduces your chances of a ladder accident. Once completed, roll your assembly up and connect the edge poles. Always end at a corner for optimal ease of construction. Next, connect the adjoining section of the perimeter. Asking for help doesn't make you less of a person. Call a friend over when needed. Build your midsections one at a time until you find yourself at the end bay. Attach the crown fitting to the final rafter and proceed with connecting your remaining tubes. Connect your corners and perimeter tubes and you've got yourself a tent top frame. Congratulations, that was the hard part. Now, loop the end of each ratchet strap to the fitting at each leg location. Uh-oh, did someone say Pete McVeigh into a mirror three times? You know what that means, a drop cloth will appear. We can't overstate the importance of drop cloths, just trust us, okay? Once your drop cloth is in place, roll out your tent top. Get a partner and get your tent top in place. If your top is in sections, lace them together. Next, loosely fasten the alligator straps at each side of the corners around the perimeter tubing and at each lace line to secure the tent top. Attach the base plates to your legs and secure them with a pin. If you have one or more than one, now is the time to deploy the frame jacks. No matter what the wind conditions are, always lift the long, downwind side of the tent first. This prevents the wind from catching the tent. Use your team or frame jacks to lift up the entire side and attach all the legs along that side. Repeat on the other long side, then attach the legs of the short side. Remove your drop cloth, remembering to store it like you would 2015 Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh. Clean, dry, and out of the elements. From the Preakness stakes to these, it's time to stake your tent. Measure out one stake length at each leg and drive your stakes into the ground. If Pete McVeigh is not available, or even if he is, you'll have a better time if you use a stake driver to do this. There's a right and a wrong way to loop your ratchet straps to the stakes. This is wrong. Show us the right way to do it, Pete. There you have it. Thanks, Pete. Now, ratchet up those straps. Neatly fold up the excess straps, like so. Now it's time to tighten the alligator straps around the perimeter tubing. Do this by tugging on the valance and firmly pulling the straps. Slide the excess strap through the metal slide on the alligator clip. Your tent is complete and looking good. Take a moment to appreciate a job well done and then go get yourself something nice. Congratulations.